This video is going to be a tutorial on using NC Wiesel in the science classroom. Uh, in the overview, we've looked at some of the general resources available for research on NC Wiesel. In this one, we're going to sp specifically look at resources in science. Uh, so let's start by going to the Student Research tab. If we click on that, and I'm working from home right now, so I would need to type in uh, my password, which again you can get this from the school media coordinator. But this is the Student Research Center. It's a great place for students to do research and uh, it's searchable uh, through the different types of material that we're looking for. Magazines, newspapers, books, encyclopedias. Um, but those different types of articles. It also has a section on the side if you want to search by topic. You can click Science. Uh, but let's do a uh, search right now. Let's click on science. We're going to look for some science materials. Uh, but let's do our search. Let's look for, let's do search on hurricanes. If you look, well, I want to narrow it down to uh, weather and climate. And so I click on that tab, and then I type in hurricanes, because I don't want information about other topics because uh, I'm just going to be looking at weather and climate right now. And so I go to this and what you'll notice is that a lot of these materials are very up to date. Uh, so I know we haven't had a new textbook adoption in quite some time. So one of the nice things about this is it provides resources that would be very up to date, more so than any textbook we would have in our classroom. And so this first link is about Hurricane Sandy. Um, and so this is a very up-to-date article. It could give us some information about that hurricane. Uh, but you also see other things, and that's not exactly what you're looking for. This could be a great thing for students to do research on. It also could be great implementation of uh, further resources for your classroom. Another cool feature about this is that you can select readings by Lexile reading level. And so it gives you approximate uh, grade level equivalence to that. And so this would be a great way to adapt some of your um, lessons for those students that need uh, either a more challenging reading or maybe something that's a little bit easier to understand, uh, especially in some of the science readings, is that can be pretty difficult uh, to do. Let's head back and let's look at another resource. And so we're back at the middle school zone. This time we're going to look at Encyclopedia Britannica online. Uh, resources and tools at the top of the page. Again, this could be searched like a typical um, encyclopedia. And so I think we know how to use that, but I want to show you some other things available here. We've just got curriculum standards. We go over here, again, we clicked on resources and tools. Uh, that took us to this educators section. And we, if we click on curriculum standards, um, we'll go to U.S. state standards at the top. We need to choose our standard type. And so we'll find North Carolina. Okay, North Carolina. And we will find science. And then we choose our grade level. So what grade level are we working at? Let's choose 8th grade for this. And what it's going to do is it's going to provide all the articles based on the, the objective in the essential standards. So there's 140 articles correlated to this standard here of classifying uh, matter as elements, compounds, or mixtures based on how atoms are packed together in arrangements. And so it's got the different headings that could fit with that. Um, and this one here, it's got some lessons. This one's got 11 lessons that would fit with that. And so you could go there and find the different lessons and resources that are available uh, for those based on the subject area. And so that's a brief overview of two resources here, of the Student Research Center and the Encyclopedia Britannica. Uh, in the next video, we'll try and look at a couple other um, available resources for us through NCYSO.